evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as, as already been said, my name is Neil Crockett. I'm the CEO of the Digital Catapult. And it's a real pleasure to be here tonight. I, I started the Digital Catapult um, three and a half, well, three, just nearly three and a half years ago. And uh, I live in Stratford upon Avon. And the first person I met in my new job was Irene. Uh, actually, it was two weeks before I started. I went along to see Irene, so I, kind of, I heard about her and I wanted to get some advice. Um, and um, I, I really um, was impressed by what she said. And also, the first project I ever talked about two weeks before I set, set up the digital catapult was that. So this is a, there's a lot of work done on this, and it's something which has been right at the core of the catapult's interest um, since, since we set up. And there's, there's three things I learned um, after those meetings. The first is, Irene is a force of nature. <laughs> Remember. Okay. The second thing I remember was that sharing personal data was one of those really exciting unresolved opportunities and, and issues in the digital economy. And it has become a core theme from that day for the digital catapult. Uh, and the third thing is I, when I, I did it, I made sure that we helped in every way we could with hosting events, giving space, giving people to help Irene on her journey towards this evening. So it's really fantastic, I mean, that you've got to this evening. I think everyone's incredibly pleased and proud of the work that, that you're doing. And just a few words on the digital catapult, um, in case you don't know what it does. Um, we are a, um, an organization that gets its initial funding from the government, but already and over time, we have to create our other income to, so as we grow up to become three times as big as the initial government <coughs> investment. We're a private business. Um, are, we're not for profit, um, and we currently have four locations. We have a location in the Euston Road in London. I'm sure people have been there and seen it. A lot of people in the room have been there and seen it. Um, and we have three other centres around the country: one in the northeast, one in Yorkshire, uh, and one in one in Brighton, uh, in, um, in the Brighton Fuse. Um, we're a development lab. What we do is we are focused on breakthroughs in new ways of sharing data. And the four types of data that we focus on are how do we find new ways, breakthroughs in how we share Internet of Things generated data, how do we find new ways in sharing personal data <coughs> with trust, how do we find new ways in sharing licensed or permission-based data in a faster way, and how do we help organizations share data between their boundaries in a better way. So those are the four things we do. Development lab, focusing on breakthroughs, and then what we do after that is we try and create movements or replicates of the work we've done so it becomes much more widespread and gets into the economy. And we take a very open innovation, um, open source approach to the work we do. Uh, and the focus we have is every time we do a breakthrough, it's about convening together um, the real different types of stakeholders. Not multidisciplinary, but particularly thinking about getting universities, academia research, getting businesses, big and small, uh, getting public sector, getting other innovation agencies convened ground an area we want to break through in and actually doing it together. So that's really what the catapult uh, is all about. Um, but you know, all the things I've had to do, uh, and, and what I can remember, this is one of the most exciting evenings uh, in terms of my experience and in, in being involved in the digital catapult. Now I really believe passionately that this that project has the potential to redefine um, the way that the internet works. Um, it's a, a really true breakthrough movement moment that we've got our, ourselves to look at here. Um, and you know, I think it's a radically uh, important and transformational initiative for several reasons. Um, the first is that it can create new trust in the way our data is used. So. It's got a new solution for this problem. It's turning things on its head. It's starting, it's starting where we are in control of our data, not the data harvesters. Okay, that is a complete flip over in terms of a new business model. That is incredibly exciting uh, as an approach. And you know, trust in the way our data is used is really important. Um, we did a survey, um, and by the way, it is probably, I believe, the major defining challenge in the growth of the digital economy going forward. Um, and we did a survey uh, in the second half of last year where we went to 5,000 UK consumers and we 
ask them about their attitude and towards the way that the data was being shared. And some of you may have read that, that report. 65% um, of us from that, from that report are unsure um, if our data is shared without our consent. That's a pretty staggering statistic. 79% of us believe that the main use of our personal data is to help make other people money. It's been used by businesses. And 76% of us say that our main concern is that we have no control on how our data is shared or who it is shared with. So these are pretty overwhelming statistics in terms of what is a major break of trust that could be very damaging to the digital economy. Hat puts us back in control, puts control back in our hands, sorry. Uh, and it's solving the problem, as I said before, by turning everything on its head and starting from a different place, which is us, which is really, really exciting. The second thing that HAT will do and transform is that it will create new economic models. I know this is very core to our means thinking, but it will, it will redistribute the profit that's available in the market in different ways. Back to our survey of 5,000 consumers. Um, we asked in the survey, we asked all the consumers, how much do you think your personally generated data is worth each month for someone else, to, to, for someone to buy? And the, um, the majority were saying somewhere between 15 and $30 per month. Okay, if you do the extrapolations, right, this means that out there, there is a new market of 10 billion pounds plus okay, of wealth being redistributed to the people whose data this is about. It's a really interesting um, translation. I think HAT catches that, that essence of that particular opportunity. And I said to Irene uh, earlier on, I said, you know, to me, HAT is deliciously Robin Hoodish. Okay, it really has that fantastic flavor to it in terms of you know, changing the rules. Uh, and it, it will allow us to, to profit from the data that is generated by us or by us in, in new ways. You know, and, and businesses will, look at this and say, well, hold on, <laughs> that doesn't sound pretty good. Um, but you know, businesses need to look upon this in a very, very positive way. It is a, an answer to create completely new types of competitive differential. Here sits an opportunity where large companies, large organizations can discover new ways of building intimacy, of building new types of relationship, of new types of personalization with their customers and if you're a government with, with your citizens. This is a completely massive opportunity in terms of creating competitive differential in a different way. And the truth is, as always, the innovators will embrace it and the laggards will resist it. And we'll see that shake out as we go. Thirdly, I believe that this can redefine the public's relationship with the Internet of Things. That's really important in terms of the digital economy going forward. And, and, and also redefine the relevance of the Internet of Things to all of us. Um, you know, Internet of Things is one of those things you've got to go on a BBC website to get a sort of technical definition of, right? What this is going to do is make it come alive every day. This is going to breathe new life into it. It's going to connect it directly to benefits and opportunities in our own lives. And that's got to be a great thing in terms of bringing the UK forward and the world forward in terms of realizing the benefit. But perhaps the most uh, fundamental change, the fourth thing I think this is going to bring, is it's going to change the way in which we all become inventors, in which we all become creators, which the way in which we use our data, our ideas, what we're about as creations, in which we have rights and we offer permissions for, whether that's for money or whether that's just, I'd like to know that you like what I've produced, right? It doesn't matter if it's for free or for money. We become creators. And that really opens up another interesting avenue of this, which is that if you're really going to scale this, if you're going to scale the transactions and the, the traffic that's going to come from hand, you really need to connect that to a, a fast way of um, tracking and speeding up transactions in, in a more automated way. And this ties to the work that we're doing in the, in the, in the digital catapult around copyright, where we are taking and we have built a machine automated open source platform that allows permissions and licenses to be, to be traded in a machine automated way. Provenance, audit, licensing track exchange done in a different way. And if you think about how and the way it goes, that is really important as, a, as an add-in here 
to make sure that this, 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 this actually gets to its real full potential. We can have a world where data and its permissions are moving through a series of marketplaces in the economy in a provenance, audited, and machine-automated way. So we hope very passionately to join our work in an open source platform around transaction engines, um, machine automated transaction engines, permission engines, with the hat development communities. Because we think together they can create something incredibly powerful. And they're intrinsically linked. So um, the conclusion, hat can change the world, in our view. It has the real potential to do that. It's a platform that can change the way data is used and shared. It can redefine our engagement with the Internet of Things, with our data, and it allows completely new opportunities for businesses to engage with us. And we can create new distribution of wealth in the economy, which has got to be um, positive, and has a real chance to make the UK, and this is really important, it has a real chance to make the UK the leader in a central internet platform. No, you know, it's one of those situations where you say, hmm, maybe we can actually get ahead of this rather than the West Coast doing it. This is an opportunity for the UK to take global leadership. So, uh, my concluding comment is go on and get your hat. Thank you.